What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. I believe this is episode 9 of the Blazers My GM. Please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a Mavericks Luka Doncic shirt right now. I am still the Blazer general manager just because I'm a fan of Luka doesn't mean I can't be the Blazers GM still. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. This could be the series finale today. Uh, it all depends if we win a championship or not. Before we get in this video, though, guys, like usual, if you get to leave it a like, let me know you guys are still enjoying this series. Be greatly appreciated. Of course, subscribe if you're new. But I'm trying to end this series before the regular season ends because I have so much planned. I will not have time to upload this series anymore. So it's been a good one. And I know that we've been kind of uploading it a lot, but it's all I've been having fun doing lately just because I've, like, I've kind of been holding back on just doing the traditional rebuilds because I've just... You know have those planned for when the regular season ends i want to do those off season rebuilds i usually do so um want to get to those when the regular season ends for those teams that get eliminated uh, from the playing tournament and just in general getting eliminated from the playoffs and i also have a fun series that i might be bringing back on thursday for some of you've been mentioning the throwbacks you know throwback thursday could be coming back i kind of i don't like the idea of maybe bringing that back but regardless right now this is the team as it currently stands john collins simons james wiseman keegan murray Ty Ty Washington, Amari Bailey, EJ Lydell, and Kendall Brown. I don't think I can make the team essentially better. This is a very good, young-looking squad. We are the second seed out west right now. The Warriors are the number one seed. We swept them last year. So let's go ahead and see what we get to play. I'm hoping it's not the Pelicans. So the Pelicans lost. All right, do we get to play the Mavericks? Let's see. Well, let's simulate Thunder versus Spurs. Uh, Spurs, so I honestly would rather play... Oh, we get to play... Wait, never mind. The Pelicans won play the pelicans damn okay well hopefully i don't lose the pelicans i'll be very upset if that happens but we got the spurs uh, as the eighth seed and we got uh new york and then washington so let's go ahead and see if we can beat the pelicans today i'm hoping we're able to do so no reason why we shouldn't i mean the pelicans have a good roster in their own right but we do too as well and the pelicans have always been overpowered so if we lose to the pelicans i might end the series regardless because i just can't do it so Simulate game one against the New Orleans Pelicans. And uh, like I said, we are trying to win a championship today. We are trying to get this series done. So let's see if we can uh, come out and win game one. We lost in the second round last year, I believe, to the Memphis Grizzlies in five. And we are going to win game one, 129 and 139. It was a close one, but we end up winning uh, 139 and 129. Anthony Simons is 28, which is big. Um, so game one is a victory for us, which is a good start. If we beat the Pelicans, we can beat anybody, right? We all know how the Pelicans are in 2K. So um, let's go ahead and see if we can win game two here. So um, if we can come out and just like blow them out, I would be like even better just because it would make me feel a lot better about things. And it's a close game, uh, very close game, but we do beat them 115 to 120. 49 points from John Collins. Zion had 32. So we're up two to zero, but of course we get to go back to New Orleans. So they could even it up, but going up three to zero here would be absolutely freaking beautiful. So let's see if we can do just that. Um, we are up nice right now. We actually have a nice lead as long as we don't let them sneak back in it. And just like that, we are up three to zero. Can we sweep them is the question. No, we cannot. And dude, you're not 2K. You're not doing this to me, bro. You're not letting them back in this series. I'm not getting 3 0 again. I'm not getting 3 0 come back on again. It's not going to happen. I won't allow it so please please don't do this to me 2k if we lose three to zero again i'm gonna be freaking done once we hit to 140 i'm telling you bro i will not i i will quit i will not record this series ever again we are not losing three we're not i will allow it to happen bro i will restart my console before i allow this to even happen 2k do not do it don't do it to me bro Please don't do it to me. Bro, come on. 2K. God, I'm so nervous right now. I I, I gotta jump in and win this game. Cause I'm not, I'm not losing. I'm not losing three to zero. I'm not getting 3-0 comeback on. You got me messed up, 2K. That is not happening to me right now. That is not gonna happen. I won't allow it. And we're gonna be down one. But I'm playing this game. I'm not losing to the Pelicans after being up three to zero. It's just not gonna happen. And it happened against the Lakers. I won't allow it to happen again. I will cheese pick and roll the whole time. I don't care. I'm not losing this game. I'm not losing this game. I just wanna build a good lead and I'll head out of this game. So Lydell cutting, let's go. And just like that, we have the lead back. 124 to 123, it's what I needed. Not gonna lose this. Not gonna, not gonna put up with it. Not gonna put up with it. Because if we blow another three to zero lead, I just can't do this game anymore. 
or this series at least because obviously I'm gonna continue to play this game and nice defense we get the stop let's go and transition Washington here we go um you know what Wiseman I want to go ahead and lob one up to you give me a screen and I could throw you one in the paint and he is going to be open but we also have like Dell in the corner so I'm going to take the three and it rims out but we got the ball back we can go ahead and reset here um so we got like Dell open again actually um let's go to James Wiseman here we don't have much time left so I'm gonna have to hit a fadeaway over Zion Williamson yeah I'm not gonna hit that 123 to 124 probably should have just passed to Wiseman in the paint but I had a three open so I was willing to take it they're gonna throw it to Jay or Lewis we're gonna play defense on Brandon Ingram gonna try to make something happen here mid-range he's gonna miss it which is a blessing because that was a pretty good shot from him we're in transition again again Wiseman uh, this time I am gonna throw you the lob I don't care if someone gets open actually you're just cutting so i'm just gonna take that let's go baby 123 to 126 we're up three points like i said i don't care if this is not appealing to watch i'm not blowing the three to zero lead and losing the first round it's not happening all right let's get it come on lewis what you got for me man i gotta play good defense on you i know that um you're gonna try to make something happen here not gonna allow it to happen they're gonna pass it to zion james wiseman guarding him uh let's see okay we got Lewis again with the ball. Getting a screen from Zion. Don't allow Zion to get the lob, though. And he is wide. Oh, we got a block from Keegan Murray. Bouncers gets the offensive board, though, and puts it right back up. Dude, that sucks. Okay. Um, it's fine, though. Got two minutes left on the clock. We are in the lead currently right now. So as long as we... I think I have a nice... Le Let's go, Washington. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit right around Valanchunez. 35 points tonight for Washington. Maybe I should just run the offense through him right now because the man is going off on 82% shooting right now. Yeah, this man is feeling himself. Ingram's trying to make something happen. Playing good defense. Shoots a midi. Gonna miss. Valentinus with another board. And he's gonna put it up again. Valentinus is killing us right now. Wiseman, I need you to stop this man. Give me another one. Give me another screen. Let's go, baby. We're right around Valentinus. You might be able to get the offensive boards, but you can't play defense on the screen. Let's go. Another nice screen from James Wiseman. Gets us open to the basket. Open lane. Harold Lewis dribbling it up. Trying to make, I'm giving him too much space. I'm gonna pass it to Zion. I'm here though. I jumped too early. Zion with oh. All right. All right. It's a one-point game. I, I can't lose this though. Again, I'm just not in position to where I, I want to lose. Uh, mentally, I couldn't handle it. I'm gonna go to Wiseman. I'm gonna pass it out. Probably should have taken it, but I instead take a three. And now I'm about to allow the Pelicans to take the lead, ain't I? We gotta get gotta get a stop. Just get a stop. That's all we need. Zion with a terrible shot. Misses it. Let's go. Nice shot, Zion. I love that shot for you. And then we got Lydell cutting to the basket. I'm going to take it. And just like that, we're going to make it 129 to 132. Nine points for Keegan Murray. One of five from three tonight. But now we have Kyrie Lewis dribbling it up again. Trying to get a screen from Zion. They're going to need a three to tie it up. They're going to go to White. Oh, block from us. He gets the board, though, again. Of course, why would he not? We don't have Simons out here right now, which is a little depressing. But again, it's fine. I think I can just take it right around. And, yeah, I mean, it's just that easy. 134 to 131. We're up three. We're up three. They're tired. They're fatigued. They can't keep up with Washington right now. And we will take that each and every time. Uh, and also, boys, the difficulty is not on Hall of Fame because I suck at 2K. So, no, sue me. But whatever. Oh, okay, okay. 25 seconds. They're going to have to start playing the foul game here soon. They're definitely still within striking distance. They're going to actually start fouling now, which is fine because I got Washington on fire right now. So if you want to send me to the free throw line, that is fine by me. As long as we don't get it stolen, you're good. So just like that, we're going to the free throw line. Have to hit both our free throws. Then we have to get a stop on the other end because we can't allow them. Uh, Washington's free throws are very quick, though. So I got to be careful about this. So can I get a green. No, that's all right, though. We made both 133 to 136. Pelican is going to talk it over, which makes sense. But we're, we're, we need to win this game. All right. Well, I almost didn't record that. I wasn't speaking, but I'll show that anyway. So the Pelicans passed it in and they threw it out of bounds. So, yeah. Thank you for the free free throws, I guess. I, I don't... You know what? That probably was the worst executed play I've ever seen. But we're about to be up five. And if we get a stop on the other end, it'll be game over. So 133 to 138. And uh, we'll see if the Pelicans got something to do. They're going to need a three, which I'm not going to allow to happen. I'm going to guard the perimeter. So, Lewis, you can try to shoot your three all you want. I'm not going to allow it, though. You can go ahead and pass the design. We're going to get the rebound, get the steal. And just like that, it's a seven-point game. This game is over, boys. So, we're happy with that. The green light free throw. 
We did not blow through to zero lead. We had to come in and take care of it ourselves, which is fine. But now we're on to the second round, which is beautiful. Washington had 45 points in that closeout game. Zion had 46, but it wasn't enough. We are on to the second round, like I said. So we can be happy about that. We got 7-9 in VC, and we get to play the team that eliminated us last year in the second round of the Memphis Grizzlies. So that's a little intimidating. Uh, the Warriors lose to the Raw or the Spurs in four. Then we got Milwaukee, Miami, and then Philly and Charlotte on the other side of the bracket. But of course, we have the team out in front of us in the Memphis Grizzlies. We lost this team last year, I believe. So uh, getting revenge here would be literally awesome. So let's see if we're able to do that. We start out with home court, which is good. We could be in the driver's position. And as long as we... Uh, you know, win both our home court games. I'll feel pretty good about potentially winning this series, but of course, got to take care of that first. And we start out with the lead and we never let it go. 30 points and 27. So we're up one to zero on the Memphis Grizzlies, which is a absolute freaking W. Again, if we win this one, we'll be in really good shape. So let's see if we can uh, do that. But if we allow the Grizzlies to get a win on our home floor, then the series is open back up. And it looks like Barring any crazy comeback, we allowed them to come back in the game. 122 to 120. We had the lead and we let it go. And now we get to go back to Memphis on a split series. So we're going to need this game three victory because if we lose this one, then it's not going to be good for us. So uh, we start out with a really nice lead up like 30 or not 30, but up like 20 in the first quarter. And yeah, we blow them out in game three. So we allowed them to barely get back in it in game two. But this time, if we could win on their home floor again... I'll feel really good about this. So let's see if we can do that in game three. Or I guess this is game four now. So game four victory would be huge. And we're up now, which is awesome. Again, if we could beat the Grizzlies, I think we could beat anybody. The Grizzlies are another team that are tough to beat in 2K. But very close game. It's back and forth. But I think we have a comfortable lead. We're up 12 with two minutes left. And we beat them 142 to 129. So just like that is a 3 to 1 lead for us. And now we can go to the Western Conference Finals potentially if we are able to close out the Grizzlies here. We do have to win this one. Of course, we let the Pelicans sneak back in after being down 3-0. to zero. So hopefully, we don't allow the Grizzlies to do that. This time, I'm going to simcast each and every game because we simulated the games and it did not work out. And as long as we keep the lead, we are on to the Western Conference Finals. We beat the Grizzlies, get revenge from last year, and now we get to play the Houston Rockets. And we have home court advantage on top of that. So let's go ahead and see if we get to play. Or let's see who's playing on the other side of the bracket. It's got Milwaukee and Philadelphia and Portland and Houston. So... The Houston Rockets, which we have not played once in this series, I believe, um, or in this like uh, episode, episodic series, I guess you should say. Malik Monk is an 89 overall. How the hell does that even happen? But all right. Uh, Scooter Anderson, 84. So they have themselves a squad. They have CJ McCollum. They have Jokic and Jabari Smith. Wait, didn't we play this team actually? Because I think I remember a Jokic Jabari Smith front court. That might be from a different ep uh, video though. Yeah, this is going to be tough. We get to play Nikola Jokic, which Jokic has killed the Blazers in the playoffs many times so and he's mccollum is there so yeah i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie well, let's go let's get it though simcast with this one we're gonna fix the rotation to our liking so we have the home court advantage in this series which hopefully works out in our favor one is uh, let's, let's just see what happens one to zero lead would be big we are playing Jokic and the rockets like i said so you just really don't know what to expect here um, it's a close game, and we are going to take the lead, but they take it right back. It's a close game, and we are going to beat them 130-131. Very close game. We beat them by one point, 26-24 and 10, and John Collins with 20. All right, man. 2-0 to zero lead would look big here. Can we get the 2-0 to zero lead is the question. Come on. See if you can get it. It's a good game so far. The Rockets get the lead, though. And they're running away with it. I don't know if we're ever going to get back in the game. I don't think we are. I think we're going to allow them to even it up on our home floor. 137 and 128. 31 from John Collins. Not good. Not ideal. And uh, now we have another big episode or another big game here. So game three. Just like the Grizzlies series, if we can win this game three, that'd be really big. We obviously need to win one on their home floor in order to put this position back in our hands. The close game. Good get. Okay. 131 and 131. 133 to 131. Let's see. It's 134 to 130. Okay. It's looking good. Doesn't mean anything though. 135 to 135. Let's get in this game. The Rockets are going to have the basketball here. So that's a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but we just got to make sure they don't score. Easier said than done, obviously. Um, they have themselves a really nice squad. So hopefully we just get... They're going to drain the clock. We do have a timeout though. So we got to keep that in mind. So we can advance the basketball. Uh, but if they hit the game winner on me, man, I'm just going to be, oh boy. Okay, you know what we got? We got what we wanted. 
We're gonna Jokic is gonna hit it, of course. Why would he not? Why would he not? We're gonna call a timeout, of course, to advance the ball. We need a tie game or the lead. So I don't know. Do I want to go to Washington here? I mean, I gotta try something. I gotta try something. Um give it to Washington in the corner. Ah, uh, this is not going anywhere, is it? Ah, uh, and I missed it. We're gonna lose 135 to 137. I wanted the I wanted the lead, not the overtime. That sucks. Oh, I guess if I quit now, it'll say the game's not over. Okay. Well, uh, Jokic 25, 28 from Washington. Not ideal. I mean, I feel like I could have made. I don't know, bro. Uh, maybe that was a bad shot. I probably shouldn't have taken it. Probably should have just tried to go for the tie. But I wanted the three to win. All right. Let's get it. Let's see what we can find here. Can we win game four is the question. If we can't, it's not going to look good for us. Game four, it's looking good. As long as we don't allow them to come back. And oh my goodness, I was getting close. But we won game four, so we tied it up. We're putting it back in Portland now. 21 points, 35 from Ty Ty Washington. Anthony Simons with 14. So Anthony Simons and uh, Washington, obviously, is the backcourt lo we're looking for here. So actually, they're not even starting. Well, Simons is going to start now. You realize he wasn't starting. So let's put Simons back out there to succeed. And uh, see if we win game five, boys. It's in Portland, so we're going to need this. We're going to need this victory. We're not going to allow it. They're going to blow us out, though, aren't they? So we're going to have to go win in Houston. They're going to blow us out on our home floor. That is so depressing. 150 to 104. All right. Game six. This is going to be a big game six. We have to win. Win or go home. Victor mentality here. Come on. Come on, 2K. Allow me to get in this series and force a game seven. The close game, of course. Why would it not be? They're starting to run away with it, though, in the fourth quarter. And now I got to play hero ball and win this. I got to come back and win this game. I can't. I can't. Can't lose. Can't lose this. We're down nine, which is easily, you know, gettable to come. We can easily come back from this. I'm not too worried about a nine point deficit right now, but obviously it's going to have to take some good and we get a nice foul. God. Okay. Now I get for, and we put them at the free throw line. That's not a good start. CJ McCollum, the free throw line misses the, or makes the first one. So now we're going to be down 11 probably after this is all said and done. Um, thought I had a nice wide open lane, but it's all right. We're down 11. We still can get this done. No big deal. No big deal. Um, John Collins, give me a screen. And I'm going to try this again. There we go. I'm going to take it with Washington. We're up. Now we put the lead back at nine. Now the Rockets are shooting a little bit better. From, if we can force this to a game seven, that's what we need, obviously. We need a game seven. CJ McCollum trying to get something to happen. You're going to pass it to Jalen Green. Obviously, it's a very talented Rockets team. They are in the driver's seat right now. And they're going to call a foul, bro. Ah, uh, I thought that was good defense too. They're going to call a foul on that. He misses the first one, which is kind of a blessing. We'll take that. We need some threes though. We need some threes to get back in this game. He's going to miss the second one. Okay, Jalen Green. Ball don't lie. Simon's in transition, but you know what? I got Wiseman cutting and Jokic is going to tip it, but thankfully he does not steal it. Would have been very bad if we turned that over. All right, we have a little amount of time right now, so we got to make sure we take care of the basketball. That's one thing. We cannot, we can't, can't get, you know, can't give up the basketball right now. So, James Wiseman, uh, we're gonna pat. All right, in transition, we gotta get a stop, and we got. Uh, if he misses that, he does not, dude. Ninety-five to one hundred and seven, such a heartbreaker. Scooter Henderson with the three, but it's all right. We're not totally out of it yet. I just gotta take care of the basketball, which I'm not doing that good enough, and that's not a foul. Sucks, bro. 95 to 107. We have a little amount of time, and I'm going to freaking foul them, bro. It's not ideal. Not ideal whatsoever. CJ McCollum at the free with the line. 95 to 108. And they're probably going to be sending us home here. And yeah, they, yeah, I mean, unless we start getting something really going here, it's just this game is going to be. And okay, they foul me, but we're not in the bonus yet, so that doesn't really help me whatsoever. Anything that slows me down. So Simons. I have Simon's wide open here, which I'm going to hit that, which is nice. Probably would have been better to be at the three-point line, though. But it's okay. We'll take the mid-range. And then now we're going to be playing uh, CJ McCollum. Don't get, don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Okay. Could have gone to steal there, but we didn't. We're going to have CJ McCollum cutting. I'm here. Nice defense. We get the stop. Okay. Got to get a good possession out of this. We're running out of time. I have Washington. Got Anthony Simons. Oh, if he stayed in the corner. That better not be on me. Bro, are you kidding me, 2K? 
Why is that a foul? What did I do? All right, man. Uh, this game is uh, its looking pretty bad for us right now. So I'm just going to take the quick basket. 99 to 111. I mean, it's still possible, obviously, but it's not looking good for us. So we're going to need a miracle, really. So they're going to pass it to Jokic, which maybe could have stolen that. Jokic to the basket. Going to miss it. We get the board. We're going to need fast threes. We're going to need transition threes. Nothing there right now. I really wish Simons would stop going to the basket because I kind of need him to... Do I take it with Wiseman? No, I don't. Uh, just don't have anything here right now. All right, Simons for three. Please make this. Not, not going to go in. So we lose to the Rockets in six games. And now we get to go watch them uh, make the finals. Bucks versus Rockets. Let's see what happens as we have the Rockets, of course, going on to win it all. With that historic, with that roster, uh, good roster for them, obviously. Really sucks we couldn't beat them. Uh, we lose the six in the Western Conference Finals. Do we continue this series or do we end it there, boys? What do you guys think? But uh, for now, I'm going to end it there. This is uh, this is Crushables saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.